Today, Electromaker is here at Hardware Pioneers 2023, and I'm joined by Mike from Security, and it's great to see you. Yeah, and it's hot as hell here. It is really humid, yeah. <laughs> now, um, so could you just go over what this service is that you've generated uh, for IoT users? Okay, so we built a, a programmable mobile core network, um, but designed from first principles to put developers first. It's a network for developers, whereas most mobile networks are for consumers. Um, so we know developers like control, they like insight, they like to be able to get under the hood and control and um, see what's going on and integrate with their software. So we've built from first principles a core network for them. And so to try and just uh, describe to the audience the differentiation here, uh, most IoT uh, cellular providers will give you a SIM card, but they control the network, they control how it communicates. But in your case, that's down to the user. Yeah, absolutely. So an ordinary SIM card, you put it in a device, it just connects you to the internet. Yeah. So if you put our SIM card into your device, it connects it to your software. So you can then control where the traffic goes, what's allowed, what's not allowed, the packet tracing, security, integration, without having to go anywhere near the operator themselves. So it's designed to be self-service. Um, it's designed to give the same sort of experience and agility as developers are used to when they're working with the hyperscalers and the cloud providers, but on the mobile network for anywhere in the world. So that's what it's so earlier on, we had a conversation about slices and how the whole thing you know, operates on top of a uh, cellular net network. Could you just uh, go through that again to try and just to make sure I understand that I've got this correct? It's good to, I mean, we use an example when we talk to customers about this. Imagine you're a, an organizer of music festivals and you do, say, Latitude and you do Glastonbury. You might, and you want to organize all the connectivity for those events. Now, those events are isolated from one another. So you can create a, a slice, a slice of the network just for that event. Um, and then within that slice, you can create what we call endpoint groups. Um, so you might have one endpoint group for your EPOS terminals, endpoint group for your water tank level monitors, each with their own requirements in terms of security, connectivity, policies. So you can spin those up as many as you like. You can have one vSlice per SIM. You can have a vSlice for a million SIMs. You can create them at any time, um, whenever you need to as a developer, um, entirely under your control, without having to talk to the mobile operator at all. And in that example with the different slices for each concert, uh, is it right to assume that that gives you improved security by isolating those slices? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So those, those um, are logical independent networks. You control the IP addressing, you control the security. Those slices don't communicate with each other unless you want them to. Um, it allows the traffic to be entirely segregated. So the point of sale data is kept separate from the water tank level data. Um, customer A is separate from customer B. Glastonbury is separate from Glastonbury. But equally, your development environment is separate from your production environment. It's, you can create as many slices as you need to um, for whatever purposes. And does this solution work globally? Yeah, it does work globally. Yeah, We've got a number of operator partners um, who we integrate with. Um, and so anywhere where they have roaming agreements, our SIM cards work. So, for example, the SIM cards we've got here today um, are, are from Jersey Telecom, who is one of our wholesale partners. They've got uh, 600 roaming agreements worldwide, 260 countries, so our SIM will work in exactly the same way anywhere. Only 260 countries? Only 260. Only 260. There's, there's probably a few that we have that, a few. <laughs> that, that aren't covered. But the other thing about it, about the, those SIM cards, is that it's um, whether it's 5G or 4G or 3G or even 2G, mm. all this slicing and all this security still works. Yeah. So a lot of the, um, you know, you don't need to d deploy a 5G network to get this sort of slicing capabilities. It's, done in the network, not on the SIM, so it can be applied to any generation of SIM card. And so even though uh, you're UK based, let's say you've got some devices in the US, when you deploy that slice, it can be more local in the US, so you still get the lower latencies. Yeah, that's right. So in, in mobile networks, there's this concept of a packet gateway, uh, which is effectively a router. Um, and those um, packet gateways exist anywhere around the world. And so our SIM cards will always connect to the closest packet gateway. So if you've got, a, a, if you're like say using a AWS in the States and your SIM cards are in the States, then that traffic will just stay in the States. So the latency is, um, is minimized here. Now, before we end this video, I've just got one question for you. And that is for the viewers out there watching this video, um, if you could give them any advice when it comes to using security or who wants to get involved with security, what would you give? Okay, well the best way to start is to go to our website, get a SIM, Stick in the device and start playing with it. It's, it's, it's literally not straightforward. You can go to Amazon, you can buy a SIM from Amazon, look at the documentation, look at the API, mm -hmm. chuck it in a device, start playing, and it's, um, it, it'll be surprised what, what you can do that you can't with an ordinary SIM card. 
That's absolutely fantastic. Well, thank you ever so much, Mike, for taking the time yeah. to join us today. Thanks, and for those out there, if you want to know more about security, you can check the link in the description.